We'll be covering our steering wheel features. Starting on the left side of our steering wheel, we're going to go through our menu settings on our dash here, and we can go to many different locations. In this section, if there is anything extremely important, the message would actually pop up here. You can uh, reset any of your menu settings that you've already changed if you wanna go back to factory reset. Here we can see our miles per hour. We can monitor any trip that we might take, telephone feature, and then we're back to how many miles we have on the vehicle. The next thing that we can do, if we go into the miles portion, for instance, and we wanna get to some of the extra features that we have on here, you can click the up arrow key. This will display our coolant temperature. We can see when our next service is due. If we click up again, we can get to our engine oil measurement, and you can see here it's observing and after a brief calculation, it will give you your oil levels. And then we're back to the miles. If we go into our settings to reset here, we can hit click the up arrow key. So we can go from our clock date, lighting, and vehicle settings. If we'd like to select any of these, we can then hit the up arrow key on the left hand side. And then we can get to our temperature, whether we want it in degrees Celsius or degree Fahrenheit. We can change our speedometer. We can change our trip from kilometers to miles if we want. And if you don't want this to be displayed in English, you can change that. You can either see your outside temperature or your current speed. Now going back into that, we then can go down to our clock and date. We can set our clock. We click up, you can change the hours, the minutes. And if you want a 12 hour or 24 hour clock, next we can go down to our lighting and change any of our lighting settings turn our high beam assist off if we like. We can turn our location lighting off. We can choose the setting for our headlamps, how long we would like them to stay on, like 60 seconds, 45, 30, 15. And lastly, we have our vehicle settings. We can change our wiper sensor to make it more sensitive if we'd like. And then if we go into this section here, we can actually set up multiple mileage trackers if we'd like. And this is also where we would check our, our diesel exhaust fluid levels important to monitor those. On the right hand side of the steering wheel you'll notice we have the call and end call buttons. So if you have your Bluetooth hooked up with your cell phone and you get an incoming call you don't have to take your hands from the steering wheel to answer the call on your radio. You can actually answer it just right here at the right hand side and then you can actually end that call as well. What you also see here is a way for us to control our volume for our radio or CD player or whatever music we're playing without having to take our hands off the steering wheel. Another feature that we have with our steering wheel is the telescopic steering wheel. You might notice maybe you're not necessarily comfortable with the feel or where it's located. You can change that. You release the lever here on the bottom, pull that down, and then you can bring this down, bring it up, bring it right in the middle, wherever it's most comfortable for you. If you feel like you need to pull it out, you can actually pull it out towards you. This is nice, it just gives you a lot of different ways for you to be comfortable while you drive.